In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to book box truck loads without even owning your own box truck, guys. I'm gonna be showing you the key things that you need to get your box truck business going and what you need to make this method successful and run loads without even owning a box truck. Guys, we're having a $5 ebook sale in the pay hip link in the description below, guys. Check out the $5 ebook sale on any niche you want. We have credit, guys. We have building a business. We have marketing your business. We have Instagram marketing. Anything you need, guys, $5 in the pay hip link in the description. I highly suggest you stay to the end of this video to get the full effect because you don't want to miss any steps because anything you miss can affect your pockets deeply when you're trying to get this box truck thing going. So with that being said, guys, stay tuned to the end of the video and let's get to it. Stay tuned for more after the intro. Woo! So the first thing you wanna do guys is make sure that you have your business LLC created, you have your trucking authority, you have your insurances, your $100,000 cargo insurance, your 1 million auto liability insurance. Make sure you have those in set guys. You're gonna need your general liability insurance as well. Make sure you have those three things and make sure your 21 days are up on your DOT waiting time. If you guys want to learn more on how to get your DOT started, I got the video right here, link in the description on how to start your trucking business. But you want to make sure that your DOT is approved and that you have your certificate of authority. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you want to go on Craigslist. You want to go on Indeed. You want to go on Glassdoor. You want to go on any job sites in your local area and you apply for these jobs, right? But they're not technically jobs. They're owner operator, they're independent contractor. So what you want to do is you want to type in owner operator 26 foot box truck. You want to type in box truck driver, okay? And Indeed and Glassdoor. Once you type that in, you're going to have a list of people looking for drivers either to drive their trucks or for you to lease on with your truck. Now, what you can do with this, guys, is depending on how many people you reach out to, I suggest you reach out to everything on the list that you find because half of the people aren't even going to text you back, okay? So what you want to do is... You wanna text them, you wanna to apply to their job whenever you get contacted. You wanna see if you can lease on to their DOT. You wanna see if you can use their authority and lease on that way, that way you don't have to pay you know, for your insurance to keep your authority running. That way you don't even have to you know, pay the $300 to start up your authority. So yes guys, if you're watching this video and you don't have your authority, you can still drive trucks without an authority. You can lease on to somebody else's authority. Now, the second thing that you could do is you're gonna contact these people once they get back to you. You're gonna ask them, hey man, let me start driving for you. I got a 26 foot box truck. But here's the thing, you don't have the box truck yet. But what you wanna do is you wanna go on rider.com or you either wanna go to Penske. Now, when I checked rider, they were charging 19 cents per mile, $160 a day for a 26 foot box truck, okay guys? And Penske was charging, the weekly rate came up to $200 more than what Ryder was charging, and they were charging 35 cents per mile, and they needed a $5,000 deposit for a commercial rental. So Penske, I don't really advise them um, because like I said, that $5,000 deposit, 35 cents per mile. Ryder on the other hand, 19 cents per mile, $160 a day guys. You call them, you have to set up your profile, your Ryder profile, you have to set it up over the phone, it can't be online. You call them, you get your profile set up, all you have to do is give them your business name, your MC, and your uh, address and stuff like that, your phone number. You know, quick sign up and then they will schedule you a rental. Now, like I said, all you have to do is cover that rental fees, cover the rental fees, and I believe the deposit for the one day rental for Ryder is $400. 
So a $400 deposit for one day rental of a box truck. Now you have your box truck, guys. Now we have our big boy box truck. We go back to our connections, our phone calls that we've been calling. We tell them that we got this box truck or you have your box truck scheduled to pick up on this day. Give me a load for that afternoon on that day. Before you make this happen, guys, before you go and get this box truck, before you schedule your rental pickup day, you want to make sure that you have a decent dispatcher, okay? You want to make sure you're indeed, whoever you know you've been contacting, that they're guaranteed to give you a load on this such and such day whenever you're ready to start running. So once you called your dispatcher up, you told him you got your truck, he will give you a load, guys. Probably, however far you want to drive, of course, it's going to be over the road. You could probably make $1,200 just in your first day with your box truck, okay? You make $1,200 one trip, they're going to pick you a load coming back. So in the first day, you can make $1,500 to $1,700, and you only paying about $300, $400 for this box truck rental. So that's a grand profit for the day. I feel like that is a win. That's how you can start your box truck, start running box truck loads without owning a box truck. You guys wanna go on rider.com, set you up a profile, rent you a box truck, pay the deposits, go ahead and hit up your dispatcher. He's gonna dispatch you some loads, guys. But like I said, you have to have your trucking authority if you're not leased onto somebody and also the correct insurances and once you get the box truck you're gonna have to submit that box truck insurance and the box truck registration once you get that in your hands guys and everything should be smooth sailing that is how you run loads without having your own box truck if you have any questions, feel free to hit the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because guys, I'm giving you free game right here. I'm giving you all this free knowledge to help yourself get successful. I'm giving you all this free knowledge and all I ask in return, a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, just hit that subscribe button and keep these videos going, guys. This is Black Investors Group. We on the way up. If you want to learn more, subscribe. We make investing easy over here. I'm King Lada. This is Black Investors Group, and we are. Black.